All right, guys, break time is over. Let's get back to what we, whatever we were doing. We're uh, going to explore the diner, right? First, we're going to explore a little bit. We're going to do this. We're recording, right? Yes, we are recording. Welcome back, everybody. I've missed y'all's. Can we do this again? Nope. Oh, before I forget, sorry, you're going to see a screen for just a second. Oh, crap. Options? Uh, uh, subtitles? There we go. All right, and we should be good. Hells yeah. All right, now we'll actually be able to hear what's going on. I don't know what it is about subtitles, but anytime that I have them rolling, I always feel a need to read them. No matter, you know, no matter how, uh, how interesting the story is, there could be like the biggest battle of my lifetime going on. And I would just look at the subtitles. It's weird. Anyways. We're going to the diner, right? Let's do this. And there's the meteor or whatever the hell that is. There's a burning oil rig. We're just gonna move fast. Just gonna keep on running. Whew, okay. We're doing good so far, guys. Not feeling too scared. Good news about Alan Wake is I, I'm past the point of being too scared while I play. And I think I say this every freaking time. No, no! Oh, son of a bitch. Ooh, that's a page. Nothing bad can happen when you read a manuscript page. Pick up. And F5. Hunting Mr. Scratch. Mr. Sh is a twisted Ooh. copy of me. Powerful and dangerous. But I know I can fight him. I don't think anybody else can. They don't understand what he is, what he represents, or that all the horrible things he does here are almost insignificant compared to what he will unleash on Earth given the chance. But I've survived the dark place. And it has taught me things. How to cope. How to stay sane when the world goes crazy. He's two steps ahead of me. But I can find him. And I believe I can stop him. Sure do hope so. See, th this is what's got me asking questions, though. Like, is... Uh, is Mr. Scratch gonna always be evil? Or is this just alternate world freaking Night Springs, uh, Mr. Scratch? I'm just really curious. Poltergeist. Oh. Oh. Its existence is one of rage and hostility, and its very presence turns ordinary objects into deadly projectiles. Right. Work, mouth, work! Shit. Oh, God! Never gonna catch me! Oh, yes, you are! Yeah! Woo! Okay. Man, this recharge is fast. I'm feeling good. That was something. Can't help but notice there's no music playing, which always makes me feel very awkward <laughs> really gives you time to reflect another page give it to me straight Alan shut up too many legs uh, that's worrisome the strands of webbing glistened in the beam of my no. flashlight fine almost ethereal they were fresh and right in my path no. I held my breath and waited ear restraining nothing I moved on, concentrating on the task at hand. Just get what I was looking for, then leave. That's all I keep telling myself. For a moment, I actually thought it might be as simple as that. Then, I heard too many legs skittering across the ground. God, you gotta be kidding me! I hate spiders. Why? Why do you forsake me, game? Oh my god. I'm so angry right now. I'm so angry. <laughs> there are a lot of things you can be angry about. I would take a chainsaw wielding maniac over whatever that is. Oh, it's just that. Over spiders. God dang it. Oh, well. Unlock. Let's go in. Ooh, can we put the lime in the coconut? Oh, it's not the same diner. Oh, this is nice. This looks like a Really, this is what every 50s diner looks like now. This is nothing scary. This is just... This is just the recession. That's all that is. The fan's still working. Somehow, the power to the fan is on. But nothing else. Can't even make myself a malted in here. That's disappointing. Welp, sir. Let's keep looking. What's the scene. Up? Traces mm. of violence. A callous midnight snack. 
a room key left carelessly behind. The man recognizes the enemy's handiwork. I think these are keys for the motel rooms. Oh, good enough. Sweet. That was that was Satellite, easy. Now this, that place might be involved. Mount Red Tooth. All right, well, let's pick that up. That's, that's nothing. Someone just didn't like their burger and they smashed it against the glass. Was it Mr. Scratch? No need to worry. I'm actually really digging this ambiance, though. There, that's it's a really nice staple to you know kind of remind me that yes, everything can be fine, dandy, and quiet. But trust me, something's gonna try to kill you, and it's most likely gonna be spiders. <sighs> Crap. Just oop. I just kicked my cat accidentally. Anyways, back to where we were going. Is this the whole place? Doesn't look, doesn't look like there's much going on past where we've already been. Let's just go through the light. Ooh, checkpoint reach. Wait, I hear breathing. Or was that... Oh boy, what's that? Emma Sloan was a believer in a great many things, most of which were entirely fallacious. Ah, crap. No! No! Ah, crap. Emma Sloan. An innocent what? victim of his dark half. More collateral damage in the ongoing war. No! By forces beating her control as much as by her own Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm saving that guy for last. Oh, come on. Alright, we're gonna reload really quick. Make sure there's no one behind us. Get that guy. All right, there we go, and one, two, three, and four. Right in the kneecap, motherfucker. All right. Let's go ahead and reload. By reload, I mean restock. First, probably go over and see poor, poor Emma's mangled body. I feel like a real jerk right now. Emma, it's going to be okay. Emma? Emma, it's alright. Emma, it's alright. Calm down. Stop screaming. Oh, is that just me? Alright, hold on just a second, girl. I will explore the motel rooms. Really, is that, is that what it's telling me to do? It's not like, check up on the poor woman who just died because of you. Or your other half. It's... Explore the motel rooms. Damn it. Why didn't you listen? Well, that's... That works. <laughs> or we can just scold her. Uh, why doesn't my flashlight work? Oh, is this like a dead zone? That's worrisome. Well, let's just go back out here. There we go. And let's go exploring. Can we go in all of them? Nope. 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 All right, you know what? I know where we have to go, so first, let's explore the other rooms. Oh, cool. We get to explore the ones that it points me to. I should really pay attention to that. Unlock. Damn. Oh, more keys. Michael Farabee, dead, tortured, dressed in clothes that bore the name of a local observatory. Hmm. A slim lead, but solid enough. It stirs something deep in his mind. He knows where to go now. Yeah, and that is home. Get those, thank you. Ah, oh, man, did I just do this all in the wrong order? The observatory. No, Kevin don't go there already. The Herald of Darkness. No! The Champion of Light forges on to see the stars. No! Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch! All right, can we go back on that? I can't believe I screwed that up. Sorry, guys. An observatory. Are you kidding me? A place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the Champion of Light is looking for. He has come to find a weapon. Can I go back? Because that really sucks. I mean, I am totally into the story, but I am just pissed that I just totally screwed that. I thought I would have been able to go to other places first. Come on. You know, we're going to try to reload really quick. Uh, how can we do this? 
Restart checkpoint? Nope. Sorry, guys. Really didn't mean to mess that up. If anybody wants to uh, update me on what I missed, slap me in the face virtually, feel free to. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to this again. An observatory. There we go. Yep. A place for a man to witness the magnificence of the universe. But such insights are not what the champion of light is looking for. He has come to find a weapon. I have come to find a weapon. That's what I'm here to do. God, I'm so angry with myself right now. Well, let's unlock that. Alright. Well, no use looking into the past. From now on, we only go into the future. Welcome back, listeners. As you know, I'm Eddie Rodman, and I'm still talking to old gods of Asgard, who are doing their big comeback tour. How's that been going for you? Odin? Splendid! I'm having the time of my life! You know, I didn't realize how much I'd miss that. And what about you, Tor? Ah, it's okay, you know. Well, this must bring back a lot of memories. Oh, yeah! It's wonderful to be back on stage! If it wasn't for my knee, <laughs> I'd feel like a young man again. <laughs> well, speaking of that, I hate to keep harping on this age thing, but I can Jesus. Say, I've heard your new songs, guys, and you sound really good. Thank you. And uh, this may be a touchy subject, but to be blunt, you really don't sound, uh, well, old. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, the difference between your, your speaking voice and your singing voice, it's pretty striking. What the hell are you talking about? You saying it's not us singing on that record? What? What you talking about? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying that, guys. But I, I can't help noticing the difference. Son, you're on thin ice. You calling me a liar? Oh, hey, God. Let me step in here for a moment, boys. Yeah, Eddie, they do sound different. But believe me, we're not talking Milli Vanilli here. These guys are the real deal. Why don't you come to the gig tomorrow night and see for yourself? Once they get on that stage, boom, things get real. Really? Believe me, they play like they're possessed. It's almost like magic. Look, you Probably see are. my boys play, you see the old gods for real. These guys project a lot of power. They're not lightweights, you know what I'm saying? All right, Barry, I'll, I'll see if I can make it. Now, let's take another quick break here, and after that, we'll play the new Old Gods of Asgard single. Don't you go away. So weird. I want to stick around for the song. Ah, but sadly, I know it won't play. Up. Uh, uh, what's what's that? I'm gonna guess it's nothing good. Oh, that is some scary. This music is scary. Son of a bee! I just go in here. Nothing bad can happen when you go to the spot to refill your ammo, right? This is like a safe zone, right? Right. God, I'm so scared. Just take the long way, do a little bit of exploring. Hmm. Oh, this is the way I'm... Sp no, maybe. Yep, it is. Oh, look. Is that a weapons cache? No, I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, boy. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, you first. Just need to hold them all back for a second. And you. Crap! See you, buddy. Ooh, that gave me chills. See you. Alright, we should probably reload really quick, sir. Good job. Alright. Well, that was fun. What the fudge is this music? Oh, it's creeping me out. Ooh, a flashbang? Hell yeah. Uh, let's pick up the page before I do something dumb. Read to me again. Ah, oh, man, I missed a lot. Oh, great. At least I haven't seen the spiders yet. Fighting the Taken. I've carried a flashlight and a gun for so long that I feel naked without either. It's all too often that I need them. The darkness protects the Taken. Shadows crawl over their forms like living things, protecting them from harm. Blows that would injure or kill a human outright mean nothing to them as long as the darkness persists. But light makes them vulnerable. Light burns the shadows away. The darkness that drives them is still in them, but now they're vulnerable. Flashlight and gun. 
Sometimes it feels they're all I have left. Hey, it's a good combo to have. If I could have those at all times, I would too. But sadly, they don't allow normal people to have that stuff, Alan. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going crazy here. I'm going absolutely crazy. So let's just go ahead and pick up, pick up some more stuff. Let's just drive ourselves further into the insane asylum. That's always a good idea, right? Well, onward to the insane asylum. Oh wait, <laughs> I mean, oh god, I've been playing too many games that involve that kind of stuff. What I mean is, onto the observatory, the planet area, and get away from this damn glitch music. It's so weird. Feels like I have a gnat flying in my ear the whole time. And first, pick up whatever the hell that. Oh, damn it! Not enough manuscript pages. What is it? What do I get from it? A combat shotgun? Oh man. I gotta get me 40 pages, which I'm not too sure I can get now. Son of a bee. 